This might be the best spec in the collection. Uh, are you um, gonna sell your collection and buy 30,000 Civics? I can do that. Today I'm taking delivery of my first hypercar in almost a year. It's been that long. I have been really waiting for it for a while. And this one is maybe the cleanest spec that I have in the entire collection. You have to see it. It's super cool. And it happens to be the same color as one of the future cars that I'm gonna get as well. So we'll need to figure that out. But regardless, you're gonna love this. It's actually the same as one that I have now, but a way stepped up version. Yeah, they're getting ready to unload it. Little sneak peek up. Oh, that's not it. Nope, that's, look at that right there. That's it. Just took delivery of the Roadster just a few days ago. I wanted to go into a little bit more color about why I got this versus the old Pagani here. Um, we immediately noticed some differences once we put them side by side. We're gonna go over that in a little bit because it's, it's actually pretty startling the amount of differences between the two. My primary reasoning behind it was I never really fully liked this. I liked this color, but I wasn't in love with it. I learned a little bit about myself and part of that was that I, I tend to get a little bit too excited when I, when I wanna get a new car and sometimes I'll settle. Well, I told the team no more settling for me. It's, it's well thought processes. In fact, I've looked at several different McLaren Sennas and passed on them because I wanna make sure I find the right perfect one to replace the other one. The debate with this one was to make it look better or just end up trading it in and getting a different one. Um, we were going to do the Tempesta package, then we learned that by doing that, it actually makes it less rare. Now there are less of the coupes that are unmolested than there are with the Tempesta package. So at this point, this may actually be worth about the same, if not maybe even more than the Tempesta. So it didn't just make sense to really do that. And I really, really, really disliked the interior on this from the beginning. I don't think I realized how much I disliked it until I really saw it in person, but I've commented on it on many videos. I just don't like the interior. This one is the, is the product of, of two awesome things. First of all, I got an exceptional deal. And second of all, it is an awesome spec. Um, it's the Grigio Telesto paint with lots of black carbon, way more. You, the carbon almost gets hidden in the other one because it's so similar to the paint. Yeah, it gets lost. And I think with this car, it's actually funny that Steve ended up deciding on this car because this is a very similar spec that we had spent weeks designing the new Chiron SS in. Mm -hmm. So it's the same exact color we did Grigio Telesto. Bugatti named it something different for his car, but it is this exact color. And then obviously this car has the red interior uh, where the Chiron will have orange interior, but super similar, which is funny because this thing looks, it makes me actually more excited for the SS because this yeah. spec is awesome. Such a pretty color and I love bold interiors. This is definitely a bold interior that is really tasteful, looks great. One of the biggest differences that I love in this is that all of the interior components are black anodized where that one had brushed aluminum. So shiny versus black. No, I actually did like both of them that looked really beautiful in that. But the Utopia, did I order them? I did them black, right? I think we ended up going black. And with the Chiron too, we were really conflicted on if we wanted to do the aluminum or finish looking or the anodized black. Well, they also wanted $50,000 for that. More. So I, yeah. I had to think long and hard. That's what she said. But after um, seeing this, it's like, I think the black is yes. the way to go. One of my other favorite upgrades about this is that it is keyless. It has a much better sound system and a much better kind of user interface where I actually have Bluetooth. I did not have Bluetooth on the blue one. I don't even think it would wire. It would only have an AM radio, I think. And it, no, it had an FM radio and it didn't get any reception. So I had no sound system in that car. But of any car you own, that's probably the best car to not have a sound system. Just the blow off sure. valves, the noise yes. the car makes, it is so like immersing when you're driving, yeah. but Gotta it's very nice system. to have Apple CarPlay in this thing. It really is. So I'm pleased that I now have Bluetooth. It actually has CarPlay when you wire it up. Super freaking awesome feature of that. Uh, uh -huh. The whole user interface actually looks different. The home screen is like a different, this car looks like it's from like the early 2000s where this yes. one looks modern. It has like the pretty wire roadster in the center mm -hmm. and it ties the exterior of the car into the interior of the car where I feel like that one kind of got lost. We're like- Yeah, and of course I, I love Roadster since I got my Corvette, my McLaren 765LT. I've kind of fallen in love with- 918 too Roadsters. is awesome. 918 of course. I think my favorite type is the, the hard top that automatically goes down, but it's, was it a big deal taking this off? I didn't see you guys. Easier than 918, way easier. Oh, sweet, yeah. good. That's the only fantastic. downside is you can't store it in the car. That's pretty neat that the 918 allows you to do that. Oh, there's the gas, okay. That's, that's a little- uh, Same spot, but different. Same. it opens differently. Yep, uh, speaking of opening differently, 
The doors on this are actually slightly less exciting. However, the doors on those have a huge range of motion, so you actually can't even reach. You probably could barely can, reach the I handle. I can reach, but it's close. Exactly, yeah. so at, at six feet two, I can barely reach that handle. The kids, no chance. And the new struts that they put in are brand new, and they make it really hard to actually pull down the doors. So children and Natalia had a hard time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Natalia. <laughs> I just like this, this, there's a meme. Is there? Just wait, just give me one second. I have it right here. This is one of my favorite memes. I know you always say how fast I tell pull memes. Tell me always, I'm always ready, day. I'm always ready. This is one of my favorite memes phone. ever. The point in the argument, when instead of admitting that she was right, you just chill in the hole you dug yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. It's one of my favorite memes ever. The story of me and my wife and my life. Just want to let you guys know we have some new merch. It just dropped today. It is the Holy Trinity line. It's my favorite merch we've made yet. Uh, the seal goes from right now to March 5th. Go check it out. It's on our website uh, at thehamiltoncollection.com. Uh, another super cool thing about this is the, the bottom does not, it, the bottom is actually leather that's stitched to match the seats. Um, so that was really neat. It almost makes me, I had the dog in the car the other day and I'm like, is that better that it's not carpet? I think it is, like if she pees. Where? Like the doggy when she was in on here. On the floor? Well, if she did. Yeah, yeah, this has leather too. Does it really? Yeah. It's just not bold red, maybe that's it's why. Not, yeah, this is more noticeable. I gotta go look at that now. When you forget, um, <laughs> what's your 25 cars has leather floor mats? Uh, in my opinion, I think these wheels, these wheels are actual Pagani wheels where those were aftermarket wheels. Yeah. Did we get the other set with that? Yep, they're upstairs. Sweet, so we did get the polished, and that was a polished, that's polished, not brushed. They're brushed. You sure about that? That ass. How do you know? Because I looked at them last week. Anyway, these wheels, much cooler. They've got the Roadster etched in the lip and Pagani so that you know that is genuine Pagani product. Center lock, I don't, center lock. I think we should paint. So, so we'll get right into modding this car because you were talking about doing the wing, the scoop, Tempesta, Let's walk exhaust. Over else. Yeah, so speaking of the center locks, I actually don't like this silver color. It doesn't match like anything on this car. So I'd like to paint those black if you're down. I mean, I think that- Yeah, I, I hate when you call things out where you're like, now it sticks out. Like, I know, those are I very, know, I know. But it makes a difference because those little things really make a difference on cars yeah. like this. So- Yeah, that's, um, that's an easy, that's an easy super fix. Super easy. And, and you want to do the wing, the scoop. So instead of investing that into the old coupe, he got the Roadster and we're going to do like everything to it. Yeah, I, I um, we went and saw one with the roof scoop when we were hanging out with Cargroms and it also has a big rear like shark, they call it a rear bonnet, right? Yeah, the bonnet um, fin. Looks like a huge shark fin. Right here. Um, exhaust we're going to look into. Apparently they can build one factory from Pagani and it pops and bangs and shoots flames. So that sounds like a no brainer to me. Under and warranty. The, that's the big, that's the big kicker. The problem is the car is out of warranty, but it does have a maintenance plan on it. And then the big wing, which is super cool. One of the, one of the other things that I noticed that, that I actually really like that they changed in the roadster. Well, first of all, it's just the entire design in the back, how it has a very different like view of the motor and it just falls off kind of a cliff in the middle. And then they do this little flare up at the end that looks so much better. Yeah. Than the other one that's just kind of flat. And then of course this one has a lot more carbon, right? That's all painted. Oh wow. Is no, your car has a lot of carbon too. This, it's just so, so hard. The thing to is with this car, not oh, you're only right. is it gray carbon on a dark blue car, but this carbon's tinted too. So literally if you don't catch it in the right light, it looks like blue paint. If you, I've, I've mentioned this it's, in all of our videos in this car, but it has a blue sheen on it that kind of makes the carbon blend into. And then you can see that they do a different, they do the standard carbon in the back, but then they do, but it's, it's just weird because it's so hard to differentiate the carbon yeah. from the body. Where on that, it's just a different paint color and the carbon is really set It looks off. like a two-tone car where this, especially with the blue tinted carbon, looks like a, a one color car. Very, very fascinating how but that works But even out. this, also a huge thing for me, am I the only one who thinks these, these look like lightsaber hilts? That's they just, really they funny. look like lightsabers. I yeah. hate, I've always hated this exhaust. The Tempesta exhaust is so much nicer. That's, it is so much cooler. How it flares out. Oh my gosh. That is night and day. And the weld too is like, obviously it's Pagani, but that's insane. But this exhaust looks so, so much better. That's even, one of the biggest things in my opinion. Even subtle features like the design of this grill, like that looks like so much more of a progressive, neat looking where the other one just has a, a like circular, funkier thing. So, I mean, little things like that. You mentioned that the flaps on the front and it's, the rear. It's mild, but they're a different shape. Yeah, the arrow yep. on the car is, uh, the front ones are a little shorter and they flare at the top, similar to the these little winglets over the lights. And then the back, I don't know, if, I'm assuming these are also a different shape because the whole back of the car, like you said, kind of drops yeah. off. They must be. And then there are a lot of store, a lot more storage in this car. I think there's multiple different, unless it's the same in the others. Well, one there's of the like first one. things I noticed that this car doesn't have that big speaker right in the center. We're in that three, car. There's three glove boxes right in there. You have a sub right, right here. On ah, the that's a good point. And this one, you can have all that storage. One, there's another glove box there. Right there's here. a third one right there. And then this one. Does that one, oh, that one functions as well. And you have this. And you have both these pockets. Like you can fit, you can, it's hard to get on video, but you can fit like your phone, your wallet, like whatever in here, which is kind of a unique feature. You also have these right here. 
You got plenty of space for stuff. Uh -huh. Not groceries, but little stuff. Uh, and then it came with the, the suit protector covers, full luggage. Um, we should pop this thing open, yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Did this car come with uh, racing suits? Uh, maybe that's what's some in that. Do. I don't if know. If not, you should get some that match It came with a ton. They, uh, they even shipped the build book that showed them constructing and manufacturing this along the way. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming all of these came with that. I just didn't get the one with my Pagani. But it really came with a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm, I'm amazed at how much value they include with this $3 million car. <laughs> Seriously. Value. $3 million is a value. One of the things that I didn't notice in the photos of this car is that the stitching actually is gray to match the paint, where I thought mm. it was black. But the gray stitching over red, you can tell right here actually in the Roadster symbol, yeah. but I think it's pretty neat actually. <laughs> How neat is that? That's pretty neat. With the black I like anodized? I, I feel like I would have never specced stitching in gray. Like I just I wouldn't, wouldn't have either. thought to, but yeah, it looks tasteful. Of course, it has the, the AMG motor built by Mercedes, which uh, makes me feel a lot better about a hypercar company that, that has its motor manufactured by someone that's been around for a really long time. Lots of carbon in the motor. The suspension looks very different to me. It is different. Yeah, so is the exhaust. So the exhaust, like we oh, yeah. pull open this one and get side by side, yeah. but the exhausts are totally different too. Like the shape of the exhaust yep. itself is different. I'm assuming this one also has roughly $100,000 just in it's hardware. It's not signed. I know. That's why I would, that's part of the reason why I wanted to pop it up. Wow. We're gonna I'll give me a Sharpie, I'll fix that. Can you We're imagine I forged for your signature on our vlog? <laughs> he takes so much time with the signature. My kids got the backpack when we were in Monterey. Weird flex, but okay. Just kidding, it's not a weird flex, it's a badass. As it is. It, but, the fact that his kids bring Pagani backpacks to school with Horatio's signature on them is like the ultimate flex. <laughs> It's, it's really light, like the cars. I don't think mo a lot of people even understand. That's the, that's the whole point. It's yes. like no one gets it. But if you get it, if you know, you know. You just, you look at the, the how long it took and how careful he was about his signature and, and that's translated into his vehicles. Mm -hmm. Like when you walk through the factory, you just understand it, it's like a museum and you understand the care and the thought that they put into their cars. He, he's art. literally an artist. That's he the is. difference. Let's pop the front. Yeah. <laughs> I want to lift this one up, bro. Let's let's lift them yeah. both up. No, that's pretty much damn the same. Different cooling. No, that's de that is a damn replica. Mm, okay, a little different. I don't know. I'm seeing that that panel is different than that. Very, very, very similar. The air similar. induction from here. Oh to yeah, the significantly fans is larger much, induction. Much bigger on the Roadster. <laughs> Fascinating. One of the things that I noted right away, which is hard to tell to the untrained eye, like I look at these cars every day, but the, the mirrors are actually different. These are lower and straighter, where these arc more up and mm -hmm. then come back down. So I, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to tell on camera, but it's, the, you can tell from here because like the bonnet, like yeah. actually ends the cars the are the same height. height. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Time also, I never noticed these intakes either. So if you go on this side, this intake behind, or it's like a vent, but behind this mirror here, this car doesn't have it. I never noticed that until now. Can you imagine? I, I actually have been trying. Let's pop the back, you All know right. what I'm saying? One of my favorite things about Pagani is is truly every time I spend time with this car, I notice something new. Every every time I drive it, every I time- just, I just noticed something just now. It's insane. Did you know those calipers were blue? Are blue. I just noticed, the and here, the lighting in the carbon fiber. So when the engine bay is lit up at night, when you lock or unlock the yeah. car, there's lights in here. Oh, what? I just That's noticed cool. that for the first time. He's, you had that. this car for over almost a year, right? Over a year? Uh, yeah. That's crazy. And like, we're still noticing still new stuff. But things. now we have a new car to learn, but it's it's crazy. That's the amount of thought that goes into every Pagani they make. There's no luggage. Oh, there is luggage storage in there. We should we should pop out the country ugly denim. Country financial. Um, country financial, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of country financial, my insurance will not be renewed, folks. So I'm going to need help getting insurance sometime mid-April. Scary, scary times. Uh, are you um, going to sell your collection? and buy 30,000 Civics? Yeah. Because you'll get that insured easily. Yeah, no doubt. I can do that. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Uh, that'd make for a good vlog. Ooh, that, is, that, is my math right? About $10,000 Civics? 30 million, 10,000. What's 30 million divided by 10,000? 3,000. Yeah, I was, totally off. Fun. I was off by zero, but 3,000 Civics would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Can you imagine a takeover, like a Chicago takeover, just every street <laughs> as far as yeah, I can oh see? My. We're gonna do a ruckus, a Honda ruckus takeover, yes, right, Tommy? Yes, if you guys have a Honda ruckus or a, a similar 49cc scooter. You could get 10,000 ruckuses. You <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this one, so this one has a, this one Bro. has a belt Ruck buckle. Ru <laughs> <laughs> Our ruck eye gang. Ruck We're doing eye. a ruckus meet. Ruck off, Tommy. Um, I heard that. That one has a little push button. I'm These have this. Oh, and they even included covers for the luggage, which I thought was very, very cool. I'm gonna ruck your mom. You should ruck her right in the, right in the something. Um, but yeah, so yeah. These buttons have always felt weird to me too. They like don't pop. You like don't know if they're closed or not because they don't really make a noise, but I, I like the strap on this a lot better. You like a strap on? Um, it depends on the day, but yeah. All right, bro. 
I don't like out of love. I always took you for a strap-on guy. Anyhow, so this car was le leaking a little bit of coolant right when yep. we got here. Um, so I, we actually talked to the Pagani tech and um, I opened, there's a valve on this side that I opened and filled with a little Tommy bit of water. actually resolved the issue on his own. He is now a certified Pagani tech. That's where I was getting. Is I just yes. wanted to, if anyone needs help with anything Pagani related, uh, my cell phone is 630-BBB-55537. <laughs> Give me a call. That's eight digits. <laughs> but um, Engine swaps, exhaust, suspension work. Turbos, wind, any carbon fiber yep. work, give me a call. I am certified. So nice. um, just want to let you guys <laughs> so guy. dumb. I took this off and filled it with water. That's all I Ooh, did. Ooh, wow. So that's a pretty that's big a lot deal. Of work. I know. I slept really well last night. You I should. felt accomplished. You should, bro. With your mom. Um, In the is bed. there anything else? There's a lot. Just need the signature. We should send it back and get a signature. I, ship it, I'm ship a it tech, to Italy. Dude. I can just sign it right now. That's true. Give me a silver Sharpie. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I've driven it a little bit and there are definitely some different nuances when you're on the road. I didn't realize the first time that I drove it from when it was picked up a few days back, it was in snow mode. <laughs> so I'm like, was it really? This thing feels kind of slow. Uh, and, then I, and then I finally figured out all the other modes and it's been a lot better since then. That's so. super funny. And you drove, you've driven to BC, you drove Cargrams, or not BC, you've driven a Roadster, you, yeah. you drove Cargrams Roadster a yep. few weeks ago. Yes. I haven't been in one, experienced one, so I'm eager to see what it's like. Come experience it. Let's do it. That's what she said. Pain. Oh no! Go, go open that back up. This thing isn't closed. Oops. Oh, what? Is it good? Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm sure they. I shut the thing with the luggage thing open. Compartment open. open. It, it folds to the same point that this closes, so nothing. Can you they imagine? It's just shat, like just spider web. That would be the worst. They probably thought about that. They did, I'm sure. Tommy, you should. I've driven this. You should actually drive it so you can call out the differences that you see right away. I'd love to. All right, that'd done. be fun. We get, I can drive it one way, you can drive it the other way, and that's we both. That works. Talk about Sounds it. good. Alright Tommy, this is going to be your first time in the vehicle. I will, uh, I will reflect on my findings and see how they compare with yours. Yeah. I'm, I'm, know what I'm saying. Let's see what this thing's all about. First thing that's noticeable is the like pressure on the gas pedal. Yeah. The car idles. It rolls when it idles, but the last car didn't roll at all. You had to press the gas and then it would lurch forward. I didn't notice Because the trans. So this one is much smoother at slow speeds, right, My, right, right off the bat. First thing I noticed was the visibility. You have a glass roof. Yeah. Just, you have a lot more visibility. Yeah. The doors are still really high, like the highest. Like there's no car that goes up to the middle of my face. So this one has an automatic parking brake. I actually really liked the old manual. And that, you was, did? that was the only car that I have that's a hyper with a freaking pull. That's true. I thought that was awesome. This one did does feel a little more grounded to me. I know you've only been in a little bit, but yeah. I it, wonder how much of that is tires or exactly. how much of that is traction control. It could it could be both. The trans trans is a little nicer. The display looks very similar to the dash. Yep. Yeah, drivability, like I just I feel a little more confident driving this one where the coupe did kind of make me nervous, if that makes sense. And I and I don't um, mind the aggressive shifting in this. I know I hate it in the Aventador, but I actually I actually appreciate that there's a hypercar out there. Yeah. That still has a very aggressive. Just the low grip warning. It's giving us a snow warning. Thank you, Chicago, for providing us with amazing weather. I don't know, like it definitely feels similar. Like I know I know I'm in a Pagani, but it does feel more refined. Like this this car feels like it's a 2017, 2018 yes. versus that car felt I, like. I feel totally different driving this thing. Like the other one, it just it really irks me. The interior, I, I just don't think it has it has a good road presence, but this one has such a better road presence, I just feel a lot yeah. better driving in it. This spec is just more like it's amazing. It's more Steve. Yeah, I don't know. This yeah, thing, yeah, it's yeah. a better handsome, you know? Yeah, handsome and intelligent. Yeah, I really like this. I wonder how big so you drove the Wire Roadster with the roof scoop and the top off in Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, by Willow Springs. So how big of a difference was the sound with the It was crazy. You just hear suction like right oh above you. Gosh. It's just <laughs> So cool. Similar to the P1, because that car has roof scoop. That makes it's the sound. way louder than that oh because the P1 isn't a spider, right? Yeah. Craziness. You guys see Aiden in the back getting rollers. The package with the shark fin, wing, roof scoop, that should all take, I think, three months. Uh, okay. They'll build it at the factory, ship it out. I'll have to ship this to Beverly Hills to have it installed. It's going to look so ridiculous. It's going to change awesome the whole car. It really, I mean, the car already looks amazing. And I am very excited. This might be, I was talking to Aiden about it. This might be the best spec in the collection, in my opinion. Maybe. I really. The Maybe. LT, the I'm LT, like, I think I'm we like nailed. Through them. 
I think a lot of the new specs bold, but I think we have a lot of really good stuff coming in. Yeah, I'm hyped. The rolls that's coming in in a few weeks, that's going to be a pretty spec. I can't wait for that thing. Although several people have done the black and orange, but that's okay. That'll be good for resale. Yeah, is the... So what do you think? What were your first impressions driving in? Anything that I didn't uh, know? I think, uh, like, candidly, just, just it looking a lot cooler. You, you just feel different when you're driving this spec versus the other one. I agree with that. Um, it sounds silly, and for people yes. who, like, aren't car people you don't get it sure. but the roadster having it as a roadster is a huge one up i can't wait to go drive it this when it's backup out. camera is better like it's not great but it, it went from like a two out of ten to like a three and a half out of ten <laughs> i love that it has bluetooth that makes a huge difference when you can listen to music like i, yeah. I hate to say it also hated the aventador because you had to wire and it had the old yeah, the really issue. old wire hookup the aventador was so similar to the wire coupe Truly. And the mm -hmm. fact that it didn't have Bluetooth, the radio didn't really yeah. work. And that you think about that when you go out and drive it. And I like the push button. The keyless is actually a big deal. That. And then you also don't have to do the delay where you'd have to turn the other key. You'd have to wait for the electronics to warm up. Then turn it. You don't have to do that. And this one is what I'm told. That's what they said when we were in. Yeah, LA. it starts right up. That's uh, awesome. It just starts up push button awesomeness. But yeah. The red interiors meant to i love red leather definitely a huge step up i think i'm a lot more excited about driving this first the other one the other one is going to get sold that one was a very gently used car for us to be honest with you oh we yeah didn't... we didn't use it i mean we had a couple of christmas trees besides that <laughs> i want to thank Devin for uh spending lots of steve's money uh after driving the wire roadster you got one pretty soon after i did so yes. car and then, you, and then they bought a 918 after driving yeah the mine. day after they drove yours so, so you guys cost each other a car it's, it's a bad idea for us to be hanging out we'll do a build series of this car <laughs> through pagani as well so we'll update you guys with photos and all that cool stuff once they're here it's yes. gonna be so sick. But thanks, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. I'm gonna go get some wings. Peace. Well, Steve can't be here, but as per every new car arrival, we have to break it in with some donuts. So wish me luck. Let's get it done.